Hi everyone, this is Peter. Today I want to introduce is the um, PMW 300. First, thanks for the Sony Hong Kong and then to loan this uh, prototype unit for us because uh, we, we find out uh, at this moment it don't have much uh, information about this camcorder. So for uh, we will do a much detailed uh, test with this. So we will divide this uh, review into three parts. First part is a rough uh, review about like this PMW 300, what is the new features they have put into this camcorder and then for the next part we will do a side-by-side -side comparison with the EX3 and also the PMW 300. The third part will be we have testing some shots on the uh, on both camera and then you will see the difference in between each other. So let's talk about the uh, PMW 300. Okay, so uh, as the same, you, everyone know that the PMW 300 is the next generation of uh, EX3 and uh, at the same time the, the, uh, EX, EX, um, the EX1R has been already replaced by the PMW 200 and then it's the same, the recording format is also using the SYS card or you can using the XQD or the uh, SD or memory stick full adapter but the difference is, okay, they can record the uh, uh, 4 to 2, 50 megabit per second and then it's different than the uh, EX3 because EX3 the maximum you can record is a 4 to 0, 35 megabit per second so you can get like a much uh, lower compressed uh, format and then when you are using a camera key you will see the big difference in between each other and uh, please note that if you record onto the uh, 50 megabit per second 4 to 2 you have to use the XQD cards with the adapter or the SBIS card because otherwise and then uh, you, you're using SD or maybe uh, the memory stick it is not fast enough to do that and also you also have to reformat to the UDF not the FAT file otherwise you also have to reformat the, uh, the cards into this uh, format so you have to be careful about that um, and the other thing is um, you will see the whole camera is become like maybe slimmer, much slimmer than the um, um, than the uh, EX3. So when you doing the handheld, it's actually much uh, easier to control than the EX3. And uh, I think the biggest difference is the viewfinder. First, I think a lot of people is complain about the EX3. The uh, um, the the mounting control seems a little bit like too flippy and uh, is quite easy to be get broken. Although I haven't heard like a lot of like complaints from my clients, but uh, yeah, I see one or two cases. So for this, okay, they have they have redesigned the whole mounting. It's now using an L metal mounting to control the um, the positions of the wheel finder, and also you will see this wheel finder is very similar to the um, to the uh, to some ENG uh, Sony camera like the PMW 250 or 220 and then you will see the wheel finder now is all um, mechanical, uh, not mechanical, it's called metal and uh, all the settings for example like the uh, peaking, contrast, uh, zebra display and also is also built in onto wheel finder. I like this because okay if you want to set something e uh, maybe related to the wheel finder you can set everything on the wheel finder rather than maybe you press some button onto the body. It's actually much easier to operate and then the other thing is um, it's now the uh, wheel finder now is actually built in onto uh, one like maybe small pieces of metal like here so it is actually much stronger to operate rather than maybe you using the uh, EX3 so now you can still got like maybe a uh, attachment and then you can get like uh, maybe a uh, refracting shots and then you got like a uh, a wheel finder on it and then if you want if you stand into a very narrow area you want you can just like flip this away use this uh, monitor to to look the shot like that and even you can just like maybe take the uh, the unit away for example like that and then you can take this away and then you can just like see the shots like this and then for sure you can have a button to flip the unit like back into this positions and uh, it's very user friendly and the resolution for this is actually improved now they have from uh, the EX3, the WVGA to now is uh, Quad HD so which is uh, 960 to maybe 480 something resolutions and the, uh, and the performance of this monitor is much better than the EX3 and, uh, and the other thing is um, now the EX, uh, the PMW 300, they will come with two uh, different models. The PMW 300K1, 
This is the uh, come with the 14 times uh, Fujinon lens, which is uh, similar to the uh, EX3, but for sure they have do some improvement on the zoom uh, performance. And then the other version is the PMW 300 K2. K2 is uh, they will come with the adapter, which is uh, will come with the EX3 now. Okay, now they are not come with the uh, K1. So. For the K2, they come with that adapter, and then they will come with the 20 times uh, Fujinon's uh, zoom lens, which is the same as the PMW 320. So you can attach onto the this, and then for sure that K2 will be more expensive than the K1. But uh, at this moment, Sony Hong, uh, Sony still haven't launched the price on the K2, so that's why we don't have the uh, actual price on the K2. And um, on the other hand, so there is also some light difference in between the, uh, the the menu setting. So for the picture profile, on the EX3, you can only got like the standard 1234 and also the scene 1234. For this one, they can they, they are now add on feel more uh, uh, gamma gamma curve. For example, you in the standard you can have light from one to eight, which I like the eight on the seven. If you doing like a kind of ENG or run and gun shoots, and then you don't have a lot of time to do the uh, color grading, I think the standard two or even the, like the scene three is uh, not the uh, hyper gamma three is actually a good choice for you. And for the hyper gamma, they uh, also have like one to four, so which is replace the, the scene one to four. So uh, hopefully later when Sony Hong, uh, Hong Kong Hong Kong or Sony have launched more information about that and then we can know what's the difference in between the standard 1 to 8 and also the scene 1 to 4, uh, the hyper gamma, sorry, the hyper gamma 1 to 4. And uh, other than that, and uh, talking about the, uh, let's talk about the, um, uh, the output. For the output, and uh, we are now at, they have put on like a SDI, SDI 2 output. So that means you can have like SDI 1 and 2 out at the same time, and then you can also have the HDMI out at the same time. So what is it good for? So for example, like you can have like a HDMI monitor, and then you can have SDI out straight into a vision mixer, and then the other SDI out and then onto, uh, onto, um, uh, onto a recorder because uh, it will be much better rather than maybe you have to loop maybe uh, something back onto the screen and then at the end you find out maybe there is some delay because uh, you after the SDI have looped through to maybe several units and then you will start to have some delay. Now, okay, all complete from the, uh, from the camcorder. It's actually much convenience. And um, this is actually the, uh, I think the rough uh, review about this uh, camcorder for the next part and then we will be doing a side-by-side um, the comparison with the EX3.